Hey, Jim Greenleaf, uh, AV Voice. As an actor, when you do a role that transcends everything you thought it could be, and an obligation comes to you to commit this conversation on something you believe in, what happened? Well, you know, initially I didn't know that this, uh, you know, playing a, a part of a wounded soldier would take on a life of its own the way it did. But, uh, I mean, this movie is, uh, you know, Lieutenant Dan is a character that I played 20 years ago. The movie is 20 years old this summer. But yet, because of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, and the number of real-life Lieutenant Dans that we have from these wars, uh, there was just this natural role for me to play in, in trying to support these, these folks. I had been involved with, with our Disabled American Veterans or Organization going back 20 years uh, since I, I played that character. So when we deployed after September 11th, I just thought uh, this is where I can put my energy and this is where I can serve. And it's been a, it's been a blessing, you know. Uh, people ask me all the time, are you tired of being associated with one character you played 20 years ago? Not this character, because this character represents something to uh, a whole portion of our population that's been hospitalized multiple times over, over the last dozen years. I mean, the, these wounded folks can go through multiple surgeries and be in these hospitals for, for months, if not years, enduring these long things. So the country, I think, owes it to those folks who's, who have served and given parts of themselves and families who have given their sons and daughters to take care of them, to make sure that they know that that freedom that we all benefit from, that they provide by going around the world and doing the dangerous work to fight for freedom, is not taken for granted by any of us. And we'll do what we can to make sure that they know they're appreciated. Thank you.